Uh, finally, it's been confirmed that President Museveni's son, that is uh, Muhozi Kainerugaba, is coming for the presidential seat in the year 2026. As we speak right now, Muhozi has announced his retirement from the army. Uh, we all know that uh, Muhozi has been the chief of land forces and uh, he has been in the army for the last 28 years. And you also know that uh, there have been rumors circulating on uh, different social media platforms that uh, he want to take over President Museveni's seat come 20. 26 and finally we can confirm it that um, he's coming to tussle it with uh, Honorable Robert Chagulanyi, the president of the National Unity Platform. You must have heard about you know the Mhozi project 2026 and uh, finally we can confirm it that um, you know this project is coming to pass. Yes Mhozi has announced his uh, retirement through his social media platforms and uh, in his own words he said after 28 years of service in my glorious military uh, the greatest military in the world, I am happy to announce my retirement. Me and my soldiers have achieved so much. I have only love and respect for all those great men and women that achieve greatness for Uganda every single day. That is his statement right there, announcing that uh, he's no more a military person or he's no more in the UPDF as, uh, you know, the chief of land forces. And of course, uh, we don't know what he's coming for next, but uh, that is the latest news, Mohozi. Kainerugaba is no longer in the UPDF. However, uh, the UPDF spokesperson, that is um, Afande Felix Kulaije, hasn't confirmed this development yet, but um, that is the latest news. Um, Hosey is now coming for the presidential seat come 2026. I can confirm it right now. Oh my God. I just wish that um, by 2026, I should be right here so that I can see what is coming in the presidential elections that very year. Yes, I mean, even a kid can see that um, Mohozi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son, is targeting uh, the presidential seat come 2026 because we all know that um, you cannot be the president when you're still in the army. That is according to our constitution right here in Uganda. If you're still in the army, you cannot be a president and that is why he has decided to retire early enough so that he can prepare early enough. Yeah, so that is the development. Of course, this is a, a very, very bright new story that we have on social media and of course, uh, I'll keep you posted. I'm following up on everything. Uh, what you have to do is subscribe to the Buzz G in case you haven't and also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications. Hey! Naba no basaja siva ngubanang.